In the last five years, we have seen the rise of many project management tools in this space and also the passing of many of them as well. There are some big names out there such as Asana, Trello, Basecamp, Monday, Teamwork, and then there are the up and coming such as ClickUp, Git Scrum, and Airtable. Each are taking their turn at the podium, but the reality is there isn't one tool that can rule them all. However, there are always going to be the tool that is going to be the best fit for your creative agency. And you may be wondering what's my favorite tool and what's my take on them. Stay tuned for the rest of this video where I'll share with you the tools that I use to manage my business and what's working successfully in my clients' businesses as well. Hey CEOs, Teresa here from Looplink. I'm the operations coach consultant, and I'm here to help you complete the loop in your business operations and expanding your agency with excellence. And today I'm going to be covering some of the big names that boast to be the best project management tools for creative agencies. Before we go any further, I'm going to review a few tools that I've tried and tested myself and my feedback on them and where it works its best magic and why. Okay, the first tool that we're going to be covering is going to be Asana. Now Asana has been around the scene for a while and it's one of the most well-known project management tool there is in this space. Probably about 70 to 80% of the agencies that I know uses and leverages Asana every day. It's great with organizing teams, agile and scrum, and great when you are managing less than 30 projects on the go with a team. Anything larger and you'll need to make sure that you have great workflows and best practices in place. Place. Some of the biggest advantages about Asana is that you can use subtasks. It's great for standard workflows such as podcast productions or video productions. I love its clean UI user interface layout and whenever you complete specific tasks, it will shoot rainbows across your screen. I actively use Asana in a few of my clients' businesses. For some, we're seeing success as it's mainly used for client-facing projects. And with a few models where it's being used for internal projects, we have a few struggles there. After a year of trying to manage over 100 active accounts in an Asana space, I have found that Asana may not be the best tool when you have ongoing maintenance work while trying to leverage um, and maintain a lean team. Tasks can easily be shuffled and lost in the mix. Duplicate tasks can happen really quickly and gaps appearing much faster. You typically can bridge the gap with other tools such as Zapier, Slack as the communication bridge, and then it's coupled with a help desk. However, it just creates a cycle of redundancy and it can really slow you down eventually. If your mind works best with lists and subtasks or even step work for your mind, give Asana a try. Let me know if you're Team Asana in the comments below. The second project management tool that I wanna cover is Trello. There are many teams that prefer Trello as their main base, mostly because it's simple to use and it's strong in its Kanban method. It organizes a creative's mind through boards, cards, and lists. Some of the best scenarios I've seen Trello utilizes is the get things done model. You can achieve this through parallel projects or through verticals. It's driven by boards broken into lists or columns to cards and then to checklists. Trello was one of the main platforms that I was on in my early days in business. And I gotta tell you, I spent a lot of time prettifying things in there. The ability to add graphics really helped distinguish the cards and that was a game changer for me um, as I am a visual person. Many prefer Trello for the Scrum methodology. It allows you to quickly see what's in progress, where things are getting hung up on, and it's always satisfying to see the done column. Unfortunately, the board can get clunky and messy when you have multiple linear and parallel projects on the go and each board doesn't necessarily talk to each other. So you'll have to always be on top of your business processes, maintain best practices such as archiving cards once they're done, for example, so that it's not going to clutter up your board. 
I leverage the OKR methodology, which is the objectives driven by key results. And so I have not yet found a way to have a large strategy that synthesizes to the key results and weekly action steps effectively. But just recently, Trello has released its templates library where you'll be able to adopt it into the boards much more easily and quickly. And I did see an OKR template there. So if you do use OKR for your business, definitely check that out. For myself, Trello became a shiny object to my creative side, but if it works for you and it allows you and your team to stay on top of internal and external projects, then go all in for it make sure that that is going to be your centralized hub. All right, let me catch you up on the new kid on the block where people are turning to outside of Asana and Trello, ClickUp. It's Asana meets Trello and it does exactly what it says. It helps you achieve productivity. If you're growing a large team, then you'll wanna take a look at this tool. I was one of the early adopters of ClickUp and it was simply amazing. You can customize it, it was very versatile, and you can do so much with it. At its core, it's customer-centric, which means all of its features are mostly driven by users. Its hierarchy compiles at the team level to workspace, to projects, and then lists. You can easily build various levels of templates from projects, lists, and even subtasks. I leveraged ClickUp over a year, having it as my centralized hub and client project base. However, I was finding that I was just hitting a snag. There was simply too much. When one has too much freedom, analysis paralysis starts happening because you start wondering what should be the right hierarchy or right format that you should be applying. And if one particular format didn't work for another type of project, we were suddenly veering off of our standard processes. And so it just became really hard to standardize and centralize and create a standard framework that we can stick to because ClickUp is so amazing. I just kind of wanted to do everything. So while it's magical, I suddenly felt too small for it. Since the release of ClickUp 2.0, I found that it did mature well and it allows you to work with your creative team to manage your projects to completion. So if you have ongoing maintenance services to your clients, this might be the better tool to help you manage that workload. Now, I've always said that I'm an operations gal and I am a data geek through and through. I love trying to find the right angle to get a single data entry point to be fully leveraged and reduce redundancy as much as possible. For example, when you enter a client's name, where does it need to be captured? It amazes me that at the beginning stages of creative teams, projects are managed through spreadsheets. I do cringe at the thought of how much redundancy and duplicate information are stored in spreadsheets. Yes, while you can run data analysis through spreadsheets, it should only be for quick analysis, not ongoing analysis month over month. So that's where Airtable comes in. In my past corporate life, there were two instances where I created successful database softwares that helped carry the business through its compounding growth year over year. And it's with the help of a database infrastructure. My first prototype was a form of a CRM back in those days. That was probably over 15 years ago. And the second one was a full lifecycle software that bridged all work groups of a functioning business from sales to project management to fleet management and service management. And that was about four and a half years ago. I built and designed these databases in Microsoft Access. And when things took off to the cloud, I sought long and hard for the right tool to be able to replace Microsoft Access and I found it in Airtable. It's now matured to the point where you can build out your business hub all around this tool and it'll allow you to manage the areas of your business effectively. And all those spreadsheets can be a thing of yesterday with Airtable. Now, all of the tools that I just mentioned are great, but something was still missing. As much as it was allowing me to manage projects, it was difficult to embody the team collaboration and culture. We were still tripping over each other. There was a lot of energy and efficiency loss as we were reworking the process and also the communication. 
things were just getting lost in between the communication through task management and project management. There was more time lost as we fell away from making the project management tool the single source of truth and managing tasks through other communication tools such as Slack or Voxer. And that's when I stumbled on same page. Now, same page has been around the scene quietly for more than five years, and it's a secret gem. Not only does it allow me to manage my projects well, but also internal projects as well as our internal team. Within same page, it allows us to create teams that acts as projects. We can chat about that specific project through team collaboration, video conferences, audio calls, all within the right projects for discussion and tracking meeting minutes and staying on top of project plans. That was one amazing win for us because we saw projects being wrapped up or processes being completed with no loose ends during these specific processes. The best part, we removed the need to use Slack or Voxer as our communication tool. We were able to bring in our operations manual. Our clients and contractors are happy to use the tool as they can easily follow the workflow and they can connect with us outside of email inboxes. Although it was a bit of a adjustment at first, um, when most of our tools in our tool belt were consolidated, there were minor nuances, which is experienced in any tools. But our creative team has fully adopted this tool and allows us to work effectively side by side, making it easier to hand off tasks, consolidate project plans, meeting minutes, and build a repeatable framework for our services and clients. We have found that we became 30% more productive when we don't have to keep switching gears and jumping all over the place. We were able to improve our stand-up meetings from 30 minutes down to 10 minutes, and everyone is on the same page every day. Now that you know what makes a successful project management tool, it starts with user adoption on the team level and building standard processes and the best practices around it. One of the key routines that I make sure I touch on is feedback from my team members on a monthly basis of what's working, what's not working, where we can better improve our processes and what needs to become a policy. When you have the right project management tool, you shall see an increase in productivity, team efficiency, and above all, customer happiness. If you've been struggling with fully leveraging your project management tool or have been questioning if it's the right tool for you, then book a free consult call with me so that we can chat about your tools and how it plays into your operations. You may just have a brighter day when everyone is on the same page in your growing agency. What are you currently using for your project management tool and what do you love the most about it? Leave your feedback in the comments section below. Remember to book a call. If this video was helpful, be sure to subscribe, share with your friends and hit the like button so I know to make more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching and for being here with me. I'm Teresa Beretta, Operations Coach Consultant with Loop Link, and I'll see you in the next one.